The Security Council views with alarm the escalation in recent fighting in the Bihach area and the flow of refugees and displaced persons resulting from it. It strongly urges all parties and others concerned to refrain from all hostile actions and to exercise the utmost restraint. The Security Council condemns any violation of the international border between the Republic of Croatia and the Republic of Bosnia and Herzegovina. It demands that all parties and others concerned, and in particular the so-called Krajina Serb forces, fully respect that border and refrain from hostile acts across it. The Security Council calls upon all parties and others concerned to abstain from any action that could cause a further escalation in the fighting. The Security Council demands that all parties and others concerned immediately ensure, in cooperation with the United Nations Protection Force, UNPERFOR, unimpeded access for humanitarian supplies. The Security Council has thus concluded this present stage of its consideration of the item of the agenda. The Security Council will remain seized of the matter. The meeting is adjourned. the Krajina Serbs. And this is a, a violation of numerous Security Council resolutions, not to mention our territorial integrity and sovereignty. The fact that the United Nations and NATO have failed to respond to these attacks, I think, highlights even more how critical it is for us to have the right of self-defense, to have the weapons to defend ourselves. The Republic of Croatia, obviously, is also in a position where they have an attack from their territory being waged against our country. And the United Nations, which is in charge of this territory, has failed to stem this attack. We both find ourselves in a very difficult situation where um, uh, we are more or less caught between, on the one hand, the uh, Serbs, on the other hand, the lack of will on the part of the international community to confront those who abuse our territories and violate our territorial integrity and sovereignty. Any particular common particular feelings about those stances, particularly the U.S.? What are well, I think uh, the United States is the only country that's moving uh, the whole situation forward in terms of the contact group. We have five countries, uh, three European countries, the Russian Federation and the United States, and the other four countries seem to be satisfied with the status quo. The United States is trying to change the status quo, recognizing that the status quo, in fact, is the biggest danger to peace, the biggest danger to stability in the region. Well, I suppose it's kind of